In this video I'm going to show you how I look after my pool table. I get a lot of questions on the channel about my table and the cloth so I'll just start by explaining a bit about it. My table is a 7 foot supreme winner English pool table. The cloth on the table is a Strachan Superfine. This is a woolen cloth which means it has a nap to it and this nap means that the fibres on the cloth have a direction to them which run from the top to the bottom of the table and it's important that you're aware of this when maintaining a table with a woolen cloth. You can also have worsted cloths and they're often called speed cloths. These cloths are napless and they often play much faster. They're also harder wearing so they tend to last longer. I'm going to show you how I look after my woolen cloth. Now I'm not an expert on this and I'm sure others will do things slightly differently but this is what's always worked well for me and it's kept my table in pretty good condition. So first of all I brush the table. This is a table brush that has the shorter stiffer bristles in the middle and then the longer ones at the end which are really useful for getting underneath the cushions. Now as I said I've got a napped cloth which runs down the table. So if you run your hand down the table you should feel that it's nice and smooth. If you move up against the nap then you should feel the fibres lifting up slightly. Now the cushions should be clothed with the nap also running down the table. Obviously the top and bottom cushions could go either way so if you run your hand along those then you should be able to feel which direction the nap is going in. Then you just brush in the direction of the nap moving any dust towards the pocket. Make sure you do the top and the face of the cushions and get right underneath where the cushions are angled back. The long bristles help to reach into this groove as you tend to get a lot of dust that gathers under there. Then just work your way around the table always following the nap and remembering to go into the jaws of the pockets as well. Once you've finished the cushions then you move on to the bed of the table. Because the nap runs down the table we start at the top and work our way down. Because there might be a lot of dust and chalk on the table try not to flick the brush too much as well as all you're doing is flicking that dust up into the air. This is then going to settle back down onto the table once you've moved on. Try to keep the strokes fairly flat to the table and just work along in about 12 inches at a time do that all the way across the table and then move down to the next section and just keep repeating until you've worked all the way down to the bottom of the table. Once you get down to the bottom of the table there will be a build up of dust so don't forget to move all of that across and into the pockets, don't just leave it underneath that bottom cushion. Now obviously we've moved a lot of dust into the pockets and if we just leave it there then it's going to end up on the balls. So it's important to clean out the pockets as well. The easiest way to do this is to hoover out any dust that's gathered around the liner or in the return rails underneath. You can also just pick up any last little bits under the cushions that you might have missed. But just be careful that you keep the vacuum nozzle at an angle so that you don't pull the cloth away from the table. And it's probably a good idea to keep the suction level fairly low if you do this as well. The next stage is called napping or blocking. For this you just need an off cut of cloth. I find this works best if the off cut has the nap running the same way as the table. So again you just have to feel to see which way this is going. Then you simply wrap the cloth round the back of your brush. Um, you could always staple this cloth onto a block if you wanted or have something with a handle and you can probably buy something if you wanted. But this always works fine for me. Then it's just a case of running this down the table. This helps to align and flatten out the fibres in the cloth. It's also good for picking up any additional dust that you might have missed during the brushing. So you'll probably need to brush or bang out the dust after each run down the table. 
then just work your way across until you've done the whole table. You'll really notice the difference after doing this and it gives a lovely smooth finish to the nap. The final thing I do to give the cloth a lovely finish is to iron it. Now, whilst everything I've done so far will help keep your table and cloth in good condition, that doesn't mean that you have to do all of these things all the time. In fact, ironing can actually wear the cloth down slightly, as can the napping. So there's no set rules, and obviously it depends on how much you use your table. But as a guide, I probably brush the table before every time I use it, so pretty much on a daily basis. Then I'll nap the table maybe once a week, and iron maybe once a month. But like I say, this is just what I do, and everyone will have their own preferences on this. So when it comes to ironing, I'm sure many of you will have seen the table irons that are specifically designed for the job. These are great, and if you can afford one, then that's brilliant. But they're not the cheapest things out there, so I've always just used a standard household iron. If you're gonna do this, however, there are a few things that you need to bear in mind. Get yourself your own iron not just the one that's used for the family laundry. That way you can make sure you keep the underside clean and unmarked and most importantly guarantee that it's not got any moisture in it. Most family irons will have a steam setting and even if this is turned off, if there's been liquid in the iron then it could spit or let out some residue which you don't want on your cloth. By having your own iron for the table you can make sure that that never has any water in it. The other thing to watch is the heat. It sounds obvious, but if it's too hot, it's going to burn your cloth. Generally, you want it on its lowest setting, although you might be able to go a little higher depending on the iron. A good way to test the temperature is to run it over a piece of paper. If it marks the paper, then it's most likely going to mark your cloth. It certainly shouldn't be so hot that you can't get your hand anywhere near it. Then when you use the iron, make sure you don't stay in one place. Keep moving slowly and you'll avoid marking anything. I like to hold the iron at an angle so that you don't create any tram lines as you move down. And then, as before, you just move down the table in the direction of the nap, working your way across. Once this is done, you should have a lovely smooth and fast playing surface keeping your table in good condition for that little bit longer. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.